Are you a 50-50 guy? What do you mean by that? Can you explain more? Yes. Like, moving into, like, marriage, you're like, yeah, you take 50% of the bills. I take 50% of the bills or that No, kind of I think thing. the man should take majority of the bills, like, take a majority of the work. But, I mean, if a woman wants to, you know, work and continue to, you know, have income for herself as well, nothing wrong with that. But I just feel like, you know, a man should take majority of the work, you know, bills and all that. You know, let the woman relax and, you know, do what she needs to do. But and you know, she still also needs to take care of family. Too. Yeah, family and stuff as well. But I think you know her income is it'd be helpful as well. But you know, the man should take care of most of the responsibilities and work too, okay. and help out as well. So okay. yeah. Okay. Oh, all right. Why did we end up hopping? Um, I think I would just say you said like the the man should take more of like the bills and stuff. Um. I wouldn't say I'm 50-50, um, but I feel like if you would have been like um, both incomes and like we build together and like that kind of thing, then rather just saying like, yeah, the, the man should take care of majority of the bills. Um, yeah, go ahead. I mean, the man should <laughs> take care of, you know, majority of the bills. But yeah. I'm saying if it's, you know, if we align the 50-50, then that is what it is. But I just feel like um, a man should take, you know, care of more, mm -hmm. more of the responsibilities. But both incomes is great. That's that's yeah. what I said. Yeah, Your I'm... income will be great, you know, to bring in too as well. But I'm just saying like a man should have that, you know, responsibility yeah. to take care of, you know, majority of the work. You know, let that stress off a woman, especially if she's doing anything, taking care of the house and everything like that. So, you know, mm -hmm. that ease the stress off, you know, her. Well, there's a couple things that I should decipher here. And, you know, men typically still have that mindset of traditional type of thing. That's why he's saying the certain things that he's saying. And the reason why she popped her balloon and she objects is because she doesn't want to give him control. She doesn't want him to have control. You see what I'm saying? That's why she starts talking about if you would have said 50 50 build this empire together and all that that is saying oh i don't want to have control i don't want you to have more than me i don't want you to you know have more stake in this than i do on a financial level because see if she can maintain that financial level she can keep telling herself i can do it all by myself what do i need him for and that's how a lot of women want to enter in relationships. It's all about, you know, a power thing. But from his standpoint, he's thinking about this more traditional type of thing. And fellas, unfortunately, a lot of these women are not on that traditional tip. They only want to pick and choose certain things from it. But all the other stuff that's involved in it is basically just staying independent. That's what they really want. They want to be independent. They don't want to give up this perceived power to men they don't want to bow down to men but they still want those traditional things you see how it's a contradiction it doesn't work it never works if you have a woman that's trying to get in a relationship with you and she wants to be the man she wants to take away your your masculine job so to speak then what are you going to be left with but this is what these women want to do. So don't believe all of this. Oh, you know, I want to make sure that it's, we're building it together. Yes, build it together in a traditional way. But that, that is not what these women are thinking about. She's thinking about, again, losing control. That is why she popped that balloon. There's nothing wrong with this guy. He's saying everything right. But as soon as he said, I want to be the one to take care of the majority of the things, so you don't worry. But for some of these women, they internalize that as, oh, the man has more power than me. And therefore, I can't be down with that. I have to be in a situation where I can have control, where I can have the ability to leave. Because, see, a lot of these women live in like this fear world. They're always fearing what could happen. Well, what if, what if this happens? What if he leaves me? What if he doesn't find me attractive anymore? What if he... Uh, likes another woman. See, they live in this fear world. Everything is fear. What if this? What if that happens? So that is how they usually run their life on fear. What if happens? Because they have a lot of women, younger and older, telling them, girl, get your bag. Make sure you got this because men ain't this and men ain't that. And he'll probably leave you. He'll probably leave you when he gets more money. He'll probably leave you when when uh, your body starts falling or after you have those kids, they live in that fear world. 
They need control. And the saddest thing about it is that that need for control that they have is never going to fill up their soul. It's never going to do that. The only thing that's going to truly fill up your soul as a man and as a woman, for a man, it's to be able to provide, protect the people that you love, the woman that you have, your children, and all of that. For a woman, it's nurturing, having children, building that legacy. That is the true legacy that we leave behind, folks, not the dollar bills. Of course, you know, if you're talking about generational wealth, that's a whole different story. But all these other materialistic things, those things don't fill up our soul. So they might sustain it for a little bit, some kind of, uh, you know, temporary fix, but it's never going to give us every single thing that fills our soul because there's some things that are tied to our biological nature that we need. And that is the thing that's missing from a lot of women in general. They keep fighting against that curve. They keep fighting their bi biological nature, telling themselves that I have to pretend like I'm a man. I have to be in control. I have to be the one that makes all the decisions. I have to have an out. That's why a lot of women are getting divorced. You see what I'm saying? Because they go in those situations already thinking that they need an out. And then we all know how the laws go. You know, you get divorced, depending on what state you are, you're in, a woman can take half of what you have, right? So she'll be set. And if you have uh, children, you know, child support, some women will get alimony and all of that. So that is the type of mentality that they live in. And they actually believe that that is going to make them happy. But the whole time, they're just wasting time. Now you look at this woman, she's an attractive woman, but she's not going to look that, like that forever. She's not going to be able to be on these shows forever with the balloon. She's not going to be able to pick and choose for, for forever. She's going to get to a point where she only has a small amount of men that she can pick for and from. And usually it's not going to be the men that she wanted because she bypassed all those men. It's only until they get older when they say, you know what? I should have gave that guy a try. You know what? I shouldn't have had that mindset. You know, I should have lo looked at things differently. You know, I shouldn't listen to all my girlfriends giving me that bad advice. Unfortunately, a lot of times they don't see that until it's too late. And then they're stuck with people that they really don't want to be with. But their biological nature is still screaming at them saying, you're not meant to be alone. You're a human being. It happens to all of us. We're not meant to be alone. But so many women waste so much time. Now, she's going to disqualify him for that small minor thing. And make no mistake, women will disqualify you for the smallest, dumbest things ever hairline, dreads, pants too tight, I don't like his shoes, I don't like his teeth, so on and so on and so on, because they're all looking for this, this perfect cookie cutter man. And you know why they do that? It's because they have added up so many bodies, they've had so many experiences with different men, and they've picked and chosen certain things from all those men, and then the, it's like a storyboard or a dream board and they put all these parts on this board and say, that is the man I want. But unfortunately, that man doesn't exist because everyone is going to have some hangups. Nobody is going to be able to be able to make that list 100% completely. It's just not going to happen. Same thing for men. You know what I'm saying? You have to pick and choose. You can't expect people to be perfect. This person might have a whole bunch of positives that outweigh those one or two uh, negative things that annoy someone and you have to deal with that but this whole idea that everything has to be so perfect the guy has to be this height he has to be this uh uh have this much money he has to believe this he you know he has to have this type of ideology it just doesn't work it's just it's just disneyland it's all make-believe but unfortunately these women feed this to each other all day long but guess what? When you look at that in the reverse, men are not that picky. Men don't have a list like that. We really don't. We're really, really simple. We're not complicated at all. It's the women that are constantly moving the goalposts. It's the women that are constantly putting uh, uh, extra things on that list because they're listening to all these other women, all these other women that are giving them bad advice. Oh, no, girl. You make sure you get everything on your list because anything that's not on your list is beneath you and you deserve more. You're a pretty girl. You're a queen and you deserve it. 
And that right there is a lot of the reason why women do stuff like this. This guy could be a great guy, but look, what does she disqualify him for? Because he said that, you know, I want to take the worry off my woman. I want her to be stress-free. Back in the day, in traditional times, women loved that. You know, women didn't want to go out there and work and do all those crazy things. They didn't want to sign up to try to go to the military and fight wars. Come on now. So, ladies, if you're watching this, don't be like that. Stop expecting men to fit into this perfect cookie cutter cutout that you have because they never will. And you will just end up lonely and alone in the company of all these other miserable women who make the same dumb choices every single day because they think they ish don't stink and they think they're perfect and they all think that they deserve the best man ever. But guess what? There is no perfect man and there is no best man ever. It's only human beings and we have flaws. That's all I have to say about this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Obviously, this is my opinion, but I want to hear what you guys have to say. So please comment. Make sure to like the video. Make sure to, to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're on TikTok, go ahead and show me some love, love over there and give me a follow. And guys, I'm past 3,000 subscribers here on YouTube. And I want to thank you so, so very much from the bottom of my heart for watching my videos. I know you could be doing so many other things, but you chose to watch my video. You chose to watch this video, and I appreciate you. Make sure you guys have a good day, and I will see you on the next one. Peace. May the force be with you.